everyone! I am here to bring you my 9 by New Year's project finale. I did finish 5 out of the 9. First um, were the two mascara samples that I started with. One was the Smashbox X-rated sample mascara and the other was the Pure Volume Vixen sample mascara. Neither one of those are ones that I'm going to be repurchasing. I just, I have mascaras that I absolutely love so there's no sense even bothering with ones that were just okay. And then the other that I completely finished up in one of my other updates were the nine little bottles of sample perfumes. I threw away those little sample bottles and I threw away the mascaras. So I don't have those here to show you, but those are two of the, the items that I finished up a couple weeks ago. And then I'll move on here to the ones that I have remaining that I was able to finish up. Um, the first is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I cut the top off and I have been working on um, getting out every single last drop that I could from this. So this is definitely something that I would use again. It's just not, I'm not going to rush out and buy it, but it is something that I would definitely use again. So that's the third item finished for this project. And then I also finished my Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I am so excited to be able to say that. I didn't remark my progress lines on the back, but you can kind of see. To be able to finish it, I had to take out the sifter and it wasn't even, like, it was ridiculous. I don't know, I didn't understand it at all. It was just one teeny tiny little like pinpoint in there so every day I had to like it was it was awful I hated it but once I got the sifter out then I was able to actually dip my brush in and it went so much faster um, I didn't hate this product but by the end I kind of started to just because it took so long to get through it this is an amazing value it will last you for years years I tell you. My only real complaint about this is that it didn't keep me matte and it was just so inconvenient to use. I would recommend it for setting your concealer under the eyes most definitely. It's very finely milled so it's perfect for that. This last product that I hit my goal on, um, my goal was to actually hit pan not to complete it but I did manage to hit pan on my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm so excited because it took so long for me to actually even make a slight indent into this product, but now I hit a ton of pan. I'm so, so excited. You can kind of see in the corner here where there's another dip going, and that's because I have been using it as a transition color for my eyeshadows, so I've been dipping my eyeshadow brush in there as well, and that's what's making that kind of weirdly shaped indentation, and the bronzer itself is a fantastic color, and I'm so excited that I hit pan. Now, onto the products that I didn't hit my goal on or use up. Originally, I um, had a different product in here, and once I got rid of that, I added in these two body washes from Bath & Body Works. One of them is Be Enchanted, and the other is Warm Vanilla Sugar. When I decided to add this into the project, I was here, but by the time I filmed the video, I'd already gotten here, and that's why I decided to throw in a second one in the hopes of using them both up, and this one obviously has been done for a long time. It's totally, completely done. Still one of my favorite scents. Love it. And the other one, I was so confident I could get finished up, but I didn't. As you can see, here's my progress lines. Here's where I started, or wh where I was, where I was when I added it in. And then I was to this line. Uh, I should have remarked these maybe, but then I finally got down to here, where you can see that. And here's where I am today. Part of the problem is we were out of power for like three days this week and so I didn't if I would have had those three days to shower this would have been gone I mean that's a legitimate reason another less legitimate reason maybe more of an excuse is that I opened up my philosophy peppermint body wash because I love peppermint at this time of year so I used about this much of it if I would have used this instead it probably would have been done, but I just, I wanted, 
I wanted to smell like I was bathing in hot cocoa. I have no one to blame but myself that this isn't done. Um, and myself and MDU, our power company, for not having the power on in three days. Um, but mostly just myself, because if I would have used this instead of the candy cane one, it would have been totally done. But as you can see, this isn't long for this world. It probably, I will have this done within the first week of the new year. The next product that I didn't complete was my Bare Minerals um, Concealer in Bisque. And as you can see, I still have quite a bit left in there. This is, I, I, I feel like somebody's refilling it. Every time I use it, it just never goes down. Um, I use it every single day to set my eye primer and it I've made almost no progress. I don't, I, I have no explanation, no explanation whatsoever. Um, I'm going to continue using it until it's gone, which for all I know could be another three or four months. My next product that I didn't finish is my Laura Geller Baked Brulee Blush in Apple Custard. This is a baked product and so it was dome shaped and my goal was to flatten out the dome and as you can see I didn't do that. added this in later because I got rid of the other blush um, and so this one I didn't have as much time to work on it but I did discover how much I love it. I'm so glad that I got as much use out of it as I did for this project and even though I didn't completely flatten it out, I, I used it every single day that I wore makeup. I didn't use any other blushes after that. That's really the purpose of these project pans is to get use out of your products. And this one I got some good use out of. And finally, I did not finish using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I used this every single day that I wore eyeshadow. I will happily use this every single day until it's gone. I love this product. I will definitely be repurchasing it over and over and over. I already have bought it several times. So that is the results of the 9 by New Year's challenge. Overall, in general, I'm pretty pleased with how the the project went. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe below and feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.